Hi, I'm Kevin Robertson, Executive Director of the Kansas Dental Association. Uh, thank you for being here today for an exciting announcement that we have. Uh, we will be introducing the Kansas Initiative for New Dentist Program, uh, funded by the Delta Dental of Kansas Foundation and uh, sponsored by the Kansas Dental Association. With me today, I have Dr. Hal Hale, President of the Kansas Dental Association and practicing dentist in Wichita, as well as Dr. Stan Wint, a periodontist in Overland Park and a member of the Delta Dental of Kansas Foundation Board of Directors to uh, discuss this program with you. So with that, let me turn it over to Hal and uh, for this exciting now. Thank you, Kevin. Um, and thank you to our guests for joining us at this press conference this morning. As Kevin said, I'm Dr. Hal Hale. I'm currently the president of the Kansas Dental Association, and we are pleased to be joined this morning by members of the Delta Dental Foundation, who have been strong partners in advancing oral health in Kansas. Like so many policymakers that we're meeting with today, we know that for communities in our state to remain strong and viable, three things are vital. Preserving good schools, maintaining our infrastructure with good roads, and ensuring access to health care. As doctors of dentistry, we've long believed a loan forgiveness program similar to what has been so successful in attracting physicians, optometrists, and other healthcare professionals to rural areas of the state would also be helpful in dentistry. For the past several years, the establishment of a dental loan program has been part of the KDA's legislative agenda. But unfortunately, the economic realities of the state's general fund has not allowed for a state-sponsored program to be initiated. But we're announcing today the creation of a program via private finance, thanks to the generous support of the Delta Dental of Kansas Foundation. Dr. Stan Wint will be describing how the program will work in a few minutes. But I first want to say a couple of things about the work we are all engaged in as it relates to dental workforce issues. Last Friday, Representative Brenda Landwehr convened folks for a roundtable discussion of the issues we and others have suggested to, to expand the work that dental hygienists can do in our state. We had a great three hour exchange and found that there are many areas of agreement and common ground. And so I hope this dialogue will continue and that agreement can be reached. As doctors of dental surgery, whose expertise is oral health, we are understandably concerned with any proposal that lowers the standards of care for Kansans. But can there be an expansion in the procedures and places where hygienists can serve Kansans? Most certainly. And we look forward to more discussion on those workforce issues. But rather than looking at this issue from a single perspective, we believe a comprehensive approach is warranted. And that's where this loan program we're launching today will play such a vital role in advancing access to dentistry in our state. I'd like to now introduce Stan Wint, a member of the Dental, Delta Dental of Kansas Foundation Board of Directors to explain our program. Stan. Um, thank you, Dr. Hill. Good morning. I'm Stan Wint, and it's my pleasure to appear on behalf of the Board of Directors of the Delta Dental Foundation of Kansas. Today, we're joining with Kansas Dental Association to launch a new program. We call it the KIND program. KIND stands for Kansas Initiative for New Dentists. Here's how it works. First, we wanted to better understand the scope of the dental access issue in the state of Kansas. And using data developed by the Kansas Board of Oral Health, we, an we analyzed how dentists were distributed across the state. This report shows that in most areas of the state, Kansas has good access. There are some areas, however, where Kansas live do not live within 20 miles of a dental office. This is the area that the KIND program will focus on. Working with communities in these areas, the KIND program will provide funding for loan forgiveness to be awarded each year to do new debts who locate within these regions. In your packet, you will find a map that outlines these areas. Communities that have been identified to, to start this program are Greensburg, Medicine Lodge, Coldwater, Sublette, Satana, Nest City, Sharon Springs, and others. 
The Delta Dental Foundation of Kansas is pledging $150,000 a year for each of the next three years to support the kind program. Depending upon the level of funding awarded to each new dentist, recipients will be required to participate in a service agreement that ranges between three to four years. We know that this approach can be tremendously successful. We have mirrored our program after a similar program which is now in effect in Iowa and has put several dentists into rural areas. In addition to providing financial support, the KIND program will work with the local communities to determine other kinds of support that may be leveraged to help make recruitment even more successful. A committee will oversee, will oversee the KIND program and will work with regional dental schools to help identify students who have an interest in practicing in rural areas. We hope to have a first set of applicants in place to review by May the 15th of 2012. Thank you for your attendance this morning, your interest in our new program. We're excited about its potential for helping Kansans, and we now entertain any of your questions.